Okay, so <clears throat> what you're gonna do here is uh, something kind of weird. You're gonna factor. You're gonna factor things so that you have x's as denominators. Okay, that's the goal. And so uh, the top, I got a man. I hate this part. I have to be very thorough. I have to write out the limit every single time, even though he doesn't change. I gotta write him out. The top, I'm gonna factor out nine uh, x to the eight. Why would you do that? You can't take x to the 8 out of that. I know. I know what you're thinking. But trust me on this one. You want to do this. Why? Why do you want to do that? I will show you. I will show you. Just be patient. Stop yelling at me. Come on. So, calm down. <laughs> so we have 9x to the 8 divided by 9x to the 8, which is 1. Then we have 4x to the second divided by 9x to the 8. So that's going to be uh, 9. No, sorry. 4 over x to the sixth power. How'd you do that? Um, I'll show you. <laughs> Math. Math happened. So if we had 4x squared, we we're dividing that by 9x to the 8. Oh, I forgot my 9. Dang it. Yeah. Okay. Put a little 9 right there. Okay. Then uh, these x's would simplify that instead of the, uh, that x squared, you subtract it from 8, you get 6, right? That's how we get it. Okay. So that's cool. That's cool. On the bottom, I have um, x plus four or x squared minus one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to factor out an x to the fourth. I know you're thinking, you're like, what the heck? Why are you doing that? Um, watch what happens. Watch what happens. See, when I do this, I get these guys. And those guys are exciting when you guys are approaching infinity. You see, if we're approaching infinity, what happens to this guy? He goes to zero. Because when the denominator gets infinitely big, this number is getting closer and closer to zero. So this goes to zero, and this goes to zero. Because they both have uh, x's on the denominator. Now you're like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this. So those mean nothing anymore. I have the limit as x approaches infinity. And at the top, I have uh, the square root of 9x to the 8, which we can simplify. On the bottom, I have x to the 4th. Because... The square root of 1 is just 1, so I don't need to write him right here. And this is just a 1 multiplying times x plus 4, so I don't need to write him down here. Okay, okay, so what happens next? Well, what is the square root of 9? 3. Three. And what is the square root of x to the 8? x to the 4th. And so you're like, what? How'd you do that? Um, see, if I had x to the 4th and I was raising this to the second power, that would equal x to the 8, right? Right. So instead of writing x to the 8, the square root of that, I can say the square root of x to the 4th raised to the second power. And the square root would cancel out the squared, and I'd be left with x to the 4th. That's one way we can look, about, look at that. So boom. Now we have that. Now what can you do? Cancel out the x to the 4th can cancel out. Yeah. Okay. Now there's something special that happened that you don't even know. You guys see, you guys see this four right here. It's an even exponent. Now if that exponent is even, can this ever be negative? It can never be negative. Now that's very important. Why is that important? Because right here, that can never be negative. That, that inside that square root, that can never be negative, but we don't have to worry about it because this can never be negative. So you can't just simplify without thinking about that. you got to think about that. So if I get rid of this x to the fourth, what do I get? Three. three. Now you're, just, you're, you're saying the limit. What is the limit as x approaches infinity of three? And if you're thinking about the graph of three, that is a function. It's just a straight line at three. And so what are you approaching as you go to infinity? Seven. Three. three. Okay, next video, I'm going to do the, uh, the next problem down here. This guy.